Warm up number one is simply pick a number from one to ten and walk by with it. The winning number on this one is three. The next one, pick a number from one to five. The winning number is two. Last one, pick a number from one to two. Winning number is one. If you want to buy a ticket, they're five million each. Hey, phone alert, you'll have extra credit coming up here pretty soon. For your benchmark test, you could have had scores that are the following. Advanced, Accelerated, Proficient, Basic, and Limited. A B on your paper does not mean you had a grade of B. It means basic. L is limited. P is proficient. This is accelerated. That's advanced. You must be from here and up to pass the graduation test. If you're not at that point right now, that's why we take this test and continue to review. If you're at the basic or limited area, you need to be at least proficient before you leave here. 48.5% of the ninth grade class is proficient or above at this point. When you guys came to this class, you were at 31%. You are now at 48.5%. Last year's 10th grade te uh, class that took the test had 97.1%. So you're having to go from here to here and then take another two benchmark tests to see if you can beat that. We missed 100% last year because of one person. If that person had taken uh, the time to do well on the test, we could have had 100%. So do the best you can on these tests. They are not just for scores. It's also for this. There's an item analysis of all 32 questions. I've gone through every one of them and found the questions that were missed the most. And we're going to start with those on Wednesday and then work our way down to the ones that were missed the least. We're still going to do these because we want 100% on next year's test, not just 75, which is passing. Tomorrow, you'll take a test over what we've been doing since the last test. Once that's over, we start on each question on that test and go through them, have a test each week, and then take another benchmark in January. Hopefully, you're in the 60s by that point and not the 48.5 range. The objectives for today... To find the slope of a line given two points on the line, and to find the equation of a line parallel to a given line and passing through a given point. Here is your first extra credit. Example number one. 3, 2, and negative 1, 0. You must find the slope of the line that passes through these two points. 0, minus 2. And then negative 1 minus 3. This is negative 2 over negative 4. That reduces down to 1 half. Example number 2. 4 negative 6, 3 negative 5. Negative 5 minus a negative 6 over 3 minus 4. This would be 1 over a negative 1, which reduces down to a negative 1. Practice problem number 1. Find the slope of the line that passes through 4, 9, and 3, 2. The solution for the practice is 2 minus 9 over 3 minus 4. That is a negative 7 over negative 1. That reduces down to 7. A bonus problem. Negative 6, 2, 4, 10. The solution on the bonus is 10 minus 2 over 4 minus a negative 6. That's 8 over 10, which reduces to 4 over 5. Practice problem number 2. Find the slope of the line that passes through negative 6, 10, negative 2, negative 6. Solution for the practice problem is negative 6 minus 10 
over negative 2 minus a negative 6. That is negative 16 over 4, which reduces down to a negative 4. Bonus problem. Negative 1, 2, 0, negative 6. Find the slope of the line that passes through those two points. The solution for the bonus is negative 6 minus 2 over 0 minus a negative 1. That should be a negative 8 over 1, which reduces to negative 8. Example number 3. Negative 6, 7, 0, 2. Find the slope of the line that passes through the two points. That will be 2 minus 7 over 0 minus a negative 6. That's negative 5 over 6. Put the negative sign to the left of the fraction bar. Don't write your final answer as negative 5 over 6 or 5 over a negative 6. Neither of these will work. No different than leaving something over 1. To completely reduce it, you put the negative sign to the left of the fraction bar. Example number 4. Negative 2 minus 4 over negative 1 minus a negative 9. That's a negative 6 over 8. Move the negative sign to the left of the fraction bar and reduce to 3 over 4. The final answer is negative 3 over 4. You only have one negative sign. That's why this is negative. If you ever have two negative signs, the answer comes out to be what? Positive. Positive, yes. Practice problem number three. The solution is 2 minus a negative 3 over <coughs> negative 1 minus a negative 6. That is 5 over 5, which reduces down to 1. Another extra credit problem coming up soon. Practice problem number 4. 0, 3, 9, 6. Find the slope of the line that passes through the two points. The solution for the practice problem is 6 minus 3 over 9 minus 0. 3 over 9 reduces to 1 over 3. A bonus problem. 5, 6, negative 1, 3. Solution on the bonus is, ne is uh, positive 3 minus 6 over negative 1 minus 5. That's negative 3 over negative 6, which reduces to a positive 1 half because we have two negative signs. Extra credit number 2 if you want this. Try to zap it within the next 15 seconds. Graduation test problem of the day. Which angles are congruent? A, B, C, or D? Use block letters only and drop it off up here. The solution to this is the following. 4 and 6 are same side interior angles. Those will not be congruent except in one instance and this is not it. 7 and 8 are supplementary angles. They're adjacent to each other. They add up to get 180, just as these do. In this case, they are not congruent. 2 and 5. 2 and 5 are alternate angles. They alternate from here over to there. They're not alternate interior because this one is not inside. Either case, they're not congruent. The answer should be C. 1 and 4 are congruent because they are vertical angles. They're directly opposite of each other in an X formation. If you have C, come up and get it. Example number 5. Find the line, the equation of the line that is parallel to Y equals negative 2X plus 3 and passes through the point 4, 5. Step one 
is to write y equals and then the same slope, negative 2, and then x plus b. You are solving for b, which is the y-intercept. Use the same slope. Next, go back and plug in x and y. y is 5, and x is 4. From there, you're solving a simple equation. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then move this negative 8 to the left and make it plus. 13 is the value for B. Once you get to that point, you go back and put it in for B. So your final answer is Y equals negative 2X plus 13. As a review, here is the opening problem. Copy this down except put a B where you see that y-intercept. This is x and this is y. Plug those values in accordingly. 5 is y and 4 is x. Simplify here to get a negative 8. Move it to the left side but do the opposite. Plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. Put 13 back here where the B is at. Final answer is Y equals negative 2X plus 13. Example number 6. Find the equation of the line that is parallel to Y equals 3X plus 2 and passes through the point 5, 7. Step 1 is to write Y equals 3X and then plus B instead of the plus 2. Never write minus b in your opening problem. Even if this is minus, don't write minus b. Write plus b. Okay, next you're going to plug in x and y. So put a 7 in here for y and a 5 in for x. Simplify 3 times 5. Move the 15 to the left, make it minus. Simplify to get negative 8. And that negative 8 goes in right here. y equals 3x minus 8 is your final answer. As a review, here's the equation you're given and the point you're given. Copy this except for this. So y equals 3x plus b. And then insert x and y. That would be 7 equals 3 times 5 plus b. Simplify this to get 15. Move this to the left and change the sign to get minus 15. 7 minus 15 is a negative 8. And put that negative 8 right here y equals 3x minus 8. Practice problem number 5. Find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals x plus 3 and passes through the point negative 2, 0. On the practice problem you should have y equals x plus b and then insert x and y. 0 equals a negative 2 plus b Move the negative 2 to the left, it becomes 0 plus 2, which is 2, and put that in here. y equals x plus 2. If you have that, come and get it. A bonus. Find the slope of the line that passes through those two points. The solution for the bonus problem. Four minus two over six minus a negative three. That would be two over nine. That's your final answer. Practice problem number six. Find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative seven x plus four and passes through the point 1, negative 3. 
The solution for the practice is y equals negative 7x plus b. Insert x and y to get negative 3 equals negative 7 times 1 plus b. Negative 3 equals negative 7 plus b. Move this to the left and make it negative 3 plus 7 equals b. 4 equals b and you'll put it back in here to get y equals a negative 7x plus 4. If you have that, come on up. A bonus problem. 10, 4, 6, 12. Find the slope of the line that passes through those two points. Should be 12 minus 4 over 6 minus 10, which is 8 over negative 4. That reduces to a negative 2. Example number 7. y equals a half x plus 2 and then 4 and 6. You still do this the same way. y equals 1 half x plus b and insert x and y to get 6 equals 1 half times 4 plus b. Half times 4 is 2 and then you put 2 over to the left, make it minus 2, and come back with an answer of 4. Put that back in for b, and y equals 1 half x plus 4. As a review, it's the same as before, except you have a fraction in there, and you must uh, use that fraction on the x. So in this case, it's 4, you have a half, that's simple, it comes out to be 2. And then, of course, finish out the problem. Put the B answer back here, and then write the entire equation out. Example 8. Y equals 1 third X plus B, and insert X and Y. When you do that, go back and simplify. 1 third of 6 is 2. And then you solve for b to get a negative 1 and put that back in. Your final answer is y equals 1 third x minus 1. Extra credit number 3. If you want this one, come up and zap it within 15 seconds. Homework for tonight. There is no homework other than to study for the test.